Hi friends. Today we're going to do something called a diorama. Uh, since we're thinking about the unit where we live, it might be something fun to do to think about what is your favorite room in your house. Now, I'm going to make one of the rooms in my house inside of this box. Let me think. What do I have in my what do I have in my bedroom? Well, I do have a bureau, and the bureau is a place that has drawers where I put my clothing. Now, I can go and bend this to make it look like I have a bureau. The top, the bottom, and, oh, I almost forgot. I have to go and make some lines. Let me get some markers. I have my bag of markers here to make the drawers. Let me see. Here's a color. And I make the lines of my drawer. One, two, three. And I handle on my drawers just like that. See? A handle on my drawers. Now I'm going to put a little glue on the bottom and I'm going to put it right on the edge, just like that. So I have my drawers. Here are my drawers. Now there's another thing that I could put in there. I have a closet, so I'm going to just make the door of my closet. My door can open if you want. Well, we'll have to see. Hmm. The door of my closet. And I have to put a handle on it. So let me see, a darker marker. And there I have my door, but I'm going to do a little thing so that I can open and shut my closet door. I bent it just a little so that I can put the glue along there and stick it on the side of the box or what we call diorama. Let me see. Oh, here we go. And I have to press on that, press on it so that it opens and closes. See, now I have the door to my closet. Now, the, what's the next thing? Hmm. Now, if I don't want this bureau to, be, uh, to pop out too much, I can also do the same thing that I did to the closet and I can glue it on to glue it onto the wall. Let's see if I could do that. Yeah. We don't want it too bouncy. Now, here I have closet and a bureau. What could the next thing be? My bed. Now I have a big bed. Let's see, a big bed. I have to measure it, make sure it's not too big and not too small, but just right. <laughs> just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So I'm going to bend it again. Oh, that silly cat. He thinks he's a part of this. He thinks he's a part of this. Go, 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 go. He thinks he's a part of He's a part of the show here. <laughs> ah. So I made edges. I bent them over just a little. And now I'm going to put glue on one part of the edge so that it sticks to the wall. Watch. There we go. And that's my bed. Oops. I forgot to make the pillows. So I'm gonna make the pillow 
and another pillow, and maybe a blanket. See? <laughs> now, what about a rug? Hmm. I used a couple of colors. I'm going to have a blue rug. Now, I can make it any shape I want. It has to fit, though. So, I'm going to make it an oval shape. So we have rectangles and squares, and here's an oval shape. Now, if you want to decorate it, go ahead. Maybe you could put stickers on your rug. So, here we go. And you'll see where I put my rug. There we go, rug. I can have two rugs in my room. One could be orange. And that one, we could just make a simple runner rug. And make it fringy. I can make little fringes on the end, just using my scissor, a little fringy. And a little fringy. And then, of course, the glue. And, of course, you if you want to decorate that rug, go ahead. Now, there goes my other rug. So, so far, I've got two rugs, one bureau, one closet, one big bed. Hmm. What else would you add if you could add something? Okay, have fun doing it.